now then, he's interviewed pop stars, presidents and even princes, but nothing could have prepared James Corden for Alison Hammond. She caught up with James as he gets ready to hop back onto the big screen for the return of Peter Rabbit. You can't show this on morning television. <laughs> James Corden is a true British success story, transforming from the lovable Smithy in Gavin and Stacey to a Hollywood chat show host interviewing some of the most famous names on the planet. And to help my guest of honour relax, I thought I would interview him in the surroundings similar to the glamorous Hollywood environment that he's now used to. Live from Birmingham, England, it's This Morning Morning Show with Alison Heyman. Mr. James Corden, thank you for joining me. Welcome to my kitchen, by the way. I've got my backdrop of Birmingham. I hope you like it. I couldn't afford a house band, but don't worry. I've got my mini drums here. Just in case I say anything funny or you say something funny, we've got a bit of a... Do you know what I mean? I mean, who needs Love anything it. more than that? Peter is back. But the question yeah. on everybody's lips is, was it difficult getting into the rabbit costume? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm very much a method actor. You know, I spent a week living outside in a hutch, just eating <laughs> carrots. When you meet Peter, he is in a, a slightly different place to where he was left at the, the end of the last film. Yeah. But um, he soon falls back into all of those similar uh, traps and tropes that were that people seem to really enjoy in the first one. Really, the message of the film is if you keep telling kids that they're naughty, and they're bad, then at some point they're just going to go, well, that's who I am and that's who I'll be. And really what the film is about is about the, the love of family, really, and how those are the things that, that get you through. One of the characters says that Peter's voice is quite annoying. So that has yes. to be the perfect example of perfect casting. <laughs> well, that is... That is hold a, on, hold a, on a minute. Yeah. That is a, uh, that's a, that's a regular theme in the second film. But what of James's other, less rabbit-themed projects? Well, after Gavin and Stacey's 2019 Christmas special left us on the ultimate cliffhanger, I couldn't let this opportunity slip by to ask the question that's on the lips of the nation. Does Smithy say yes? I, I honestly, I don't know the answer. I've no idea. <laughs> I was, I like... I'm as excited you, to find out as you are. I don't know. I have no you, idea. You think we will find out, though? Will there be another episode? Really, it's just about finding the time to do it and finding out if we think it's good enough. Nobody wants a last episode that, that doesn't deliver. So we've just got to sort of let the tank fill up again, really. I hope so much that we get to do one. I think yeah. it would be strange to leave it where we left it. And Gavin and Stacey isn't the only long-running comedy that James is part of, with the breaking news that he will be hosting the recently announced Friends reunion. What can you tell us? Can you tell us anything? I can't tell you much, I'm, I'm afraid. Oh, man. It's peppered with lots of different people popping in and out. But really, it's, it's a celebration of the unbelievable chemistry between that cast. It's a big nostalgic look back at this group of characters that, that mean so much to so many people, you know, but I, I can't tell you much more than that, only that I was, you know, privileged to be asked to be part of it, you know. 